What's up, Barking Family? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the Dollar Tree cooling racks. You can do some seriously amazing hacks and DIYs using these. So let's just jump right into it. Cooling racks are great for organizing underneath kitchen and bathroom sinks. You'll need some command hooks to attach the cooling rack to your cabinet doors. And off of the cooling rack, you can organize so many different items, especially cleaning supplies. If it has a handle, you can just hook it right onto the wire of the cooling rack. For $2.50, I have this awesome organizational piece underneath my kitchen sink. If you need a bigger organizational piece, you can use zip ties from Dollar Tree to attach multiple cooling racks together. And that's exactly what I did. To hang this on my wall, I found where the studs in my wall were and I used screws. You can use command hooks, just make sure you use ones with the appropriate weight limit. And you can see here, I have so much more organizational space for multiple cleaning products. Of course, you don't have to use this for just cleaning products. And you could pair the cooling racks with items from Dollar Tree to create a different type of organizational piece. Now you can buy pieces at Dollar Tree that attach attach really well to the cooling racks. For instance, these organizing trays I purchased from Dollar Tree. There are holes in the corner that I'm able to feed my zip ties through and attach them to the cooling racks. So I attached four total and then I just filled this up with some crafting supplies. Here's another hack for the cooling racks. You can buy baskets from Dollar Tree and zip tie those to the cooling racks. This is another way to store different items. This time around, I'm hanging the cooling racks off of a over the door towel rack. And you can find these at Dollar Tree as well. This is going inside of my bathroom. So I have it holding things like body soap, toilet paper, because there are baskets there. This is able to hold bigger items. You can also use this to store makeup, which is really nice if you don't have a lot of storage space inside of your bathroom and you don't have a vanity. You might not like how it looks with just the cooling rack alone, so you can go to your local hardware store and pick up some wood. We cut down the wood and I attached the pieces we cut down using wood glue. I created a frame that's going to go around the cooling rack and I made sure that we cut the wood down so that the cooling rack would just go over the pieces of wood. That way I could staple them into place using my electric staple gun. Now I picked up a pack of these wall hangers also at my local hardware store and I'm just going to screw them on the back of this so that I could hang this to the wall. Here are some ideas for this. You can use S hooks and hang them off of the cooling racks to then hang mugs off of the S hooks. This ends up turning into a piece that almost looks like a decoration. Another idea is to attach three of the Dollar Tree baskets. I want to label some of the baskets and to do this, I'm using these small picture frames from Dollar Tree. I just write on the paper that's already inside of there, remove the back and then glue that to my baskets. This is another great piece that benefits by that wooden frame. It makes it look more like a decor piece rather than something that you're just using for organization. Here's a hack for using the cooling racks outside. You can attach as many as you want, again, side by side. I like to use zip ties because they really do a good job of securing them into place versus hot glue. More than likely, it'll fall apart on you. Use as many cooling racks as you want for this. And then you're gonna add some greenery, some floral. All the floral I'm using is from Hobby Lobby. They have a good price on floral when it's on sale. Remember, you don't have to use what I'm using and you can change things around to suit your budget. I'm gonna be hanging this piece outside. So I ended up getting these command hooks from Amazon. I have purchased these before. They are the best if you're hanging things off of your house. They're great. So I'm using them to hang the cooling racks and I'm hanging this below my window. You can see just how beautiful this is. If you have a door that this would work on, I think it's a wonderful piece to put near the door. It's so easy to do, you guys. It's such a cool hat. I decided I wanted to add more roses to this, so that's exactly what I did. And with more roses, oh my gosh, you guys, this is just a gorgeous piece. Here's another organizing hack I shared recently on my channel. You can use the cooling racks to organize makeup inside of a vanity drawer. I had to raise my cooling racks by using some little cubes that I got from Dollar Tree. I put an adhesive on the bottom and then I placed my cooling rack on top of that. I needed it to be elevated so that it could hold my makeup into place. I've seen this done before and people don't use anything to raise it up. And if you don't do that, then everything falls over unless it's 
that's lipstick that has a square bottom. This is an amazing hack for keeping the makeup inside of your drawers organized and it holds a lot of makeup. This next hack is 100% inspired by Thrifted Living on YouTube, Kieran. I'm gonna have her link down below for you guys. She is a part of the OG Dollar Tree community here on YouTube. Again, I'm gonna be zip tying cooling racks together. This time around, I'm zip tying four side by side. I then am going to take one cooling rack and attach it to the middle of the cooling rack that is second to the left. Now lift this piece up and start to close it off. When you close it off, you're gonna have this square shape. Take your zip ties and attach all the pieces together so it becomes one piece. Now if you don't put a backing to this piece, it's just gonna collapse on you. As you can see, it just collapses. So what you have to do is place at least one cooling rack at the back of this unit. Now when you lift this up, it doesn't just fall over on you because you have the cooling rack in the back. Now these are perfect for holding these storage bins from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place some of those inside of here. Now you can use this to organize lightweight items, for instance socks, underwear, shoes, books. You don't want to put anything too heavy inside of this and then wonder why if like caved in on you. This is how it looks when you stack one on top of the other. I don't recommend going too high with this. The most I would go is four bins worth and then that's it. I wouldn't go much higher with this. Again, lightweight items. I really want to emphasize that. You can also use the cooling racks to create a crate that is great for storing toys that are laying around outside. So all you have to do is attach four of them together and you're just going to create a square and then put two cooling racks at what would be the bottom of your crate. And when you do this, if you're going to put toys, make sure you cut the zip tie as close to the end as possible because you don't want any sharp edges. You don't want anything sharp because you don't want anybody cutting themselves on the zip ties. Obviously, you don't want to put anything too heavy inside of this. You don't want to put your bowling ball in there and then pick it up and wonder why the bottom broke on you. This is great if you have children with a bunch of outdoor toys. For instance, my son has a bunch of balls and I'd rather put them inside of here versus the mesh bag I put his other outdoor toys. He's always asking to play with the balls rather than the stuff made for his like water table. So this is easy access versus the mesh bag I have, which he cannot open on his own. That's it for these cooling rack hacks. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas using the cooling racks, please let me know. I feel like you can do so many things with these. It's just a matter of figuring out what exactly you can do. So if you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.